Hello. Okay, so this video is about the hatch pattern that represents Earth in Revit. Um, so uh, here I am in a Revit file. There's my model. And if I take a look at a section, oops, a section that I've created, that's the hatch pattern right there. And it's horizontal and vertical hatch pattern represents Earth. This is um, Revit's earth hatch pattern. Uh, if you look at a set of drawings I've got here on my screen, typically hatch pattern is supposed to be on a 45 degree angle. Um, when you create patterns in Revit it's probably easier to program for the vertical and horizontal, but it's not really how it was supposed to look. So this video is how to get yourself some 45 degree angle hatch pattern to represent earth. So first of all, if you, if you look at um, a section and you see this hatch pattern, you probably naturally want to click on your topo surface and you look over here and I've got the material as grass. And if I open up that and I look in here and I don't see any hatch pattern in the grass, that's because that's not where that is coming from. If I go to the Massing and Site tab, and I go to that little wee arrow, Site Settings, you'll see here that Section Graphics, Section Cut Material for Earth, three dots, and if you click on that, that is where that material is coming from, Earth, up and down and horizontal. Okay, so what we want to do is create a hatch pattern that takes that and rotates it. You might think it might be easy just to say, hey, rotate the pattern, but you can't. So, so what I'm going to do is um, this. If you can see this, I'll just zoom in. Hatch, Earth, rotating 45. That's how it looks in AutoCAD, and that's really how it should look. So the first thing we have to do is open the ACAD.pat file. That's the AutoCAD pattern file in notepad. So I've got um, that here. If you don't know where that file is located, um, you have to go to go to your C drive, go to users, whatever user you are, app data, roaming, Autodesk, and then in there you go to AutoCAD, whatever version, 2021 is what I have. R24, ENU, and then in support. So that it's kind of a it's kind of a long path here. Roaming, Autodesk, whatever AutoCAD, 24 ENU support. And there it is, ACAD.pat. There's lots of other ACADs, but just get the one dot pat. If you right click and open it with um, notepad, then you get a file that looks like this. I'll try not to mess around with this file too much, but um, this is programming language and you'll see the little asterisk there. Um, that is sort of like comments. So this one is telling you that's um, a pattern for fire brick. So this, the asterisk there is not part of the program. The program is this 90 comma, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we want to go down in this pattern file until you find earth. I've already got one in here, but I'm just going to show you. So there's Earth, Earth or ground, subterranean. So you want to select Earth and those lines there. And then you want to right click and copy. And then you want to give yourself a space. So like go like that and paste it and call it Earth 45. Now that doesn't fix it, but what you have to do then is modify these lines here. So you need to change the earth um, pattern from zeros and all of this stuff to this. So that'll take you a few minutes. Go ahead and do that. You know, pause this on the screen so you can see it. But this is basically what you're um, changing it to. 45s and 135s. Okay. Once you've done that, save as an ACAD.pat 
and close the pattern file. I didn't, uh, I didn't make any changes, but you will. Um, don't save. Okay, so that um, is an ACAD dot pat file. Don't change it to txt. Okay. Now, what you're going to go do is go into um, Revit and go to the Manage tab. Click on Additional Settings, uh, Setting Panel, Select Fill Patterns. Make sure the drafting is selected. Click on New. Click on Custom. Select Import and load the file you just created. Okay, so let me show you that. All right, so we go here. We go to Manage, go to Additional Settings, go to Fill Patterns, right there. In your Fill Patterns, make sure you've got this set to Drafting. Go down to New, that's a little piece of paper with the sun. Click, gets you this. Um, click on the custom button, and I'm just going to call it Earth 45. Now I need to browse for the uh, hatch pattern. Okay, um, I accidentally turned off my um, mic. Okay, I'm back. So I created it Earth 45 and um, it's custom. And I'm going to browse and uh, same path. Go um, see users, whoever you are. Update a roaming Autodesk, AutoCAD R24 ENU support. And you're looking for the um, ACAD PAT file again. So you click open, and then that lists all of the patterns in that ACAD.pat. And I can find my Earth 45 one. See, so there's Earth and Earth 45. It didn't overwrite the other one. Once I found it, select it, and I click OK. Now I've got both of them in Revit, so I click OK. Next thing I do is now assign that on the massing and site tab. I go back to that little arrow. I go to the earth and I'm going to change all anywhere earth shows up to use this one. Now that I've got it in there, click OK. OK. Um, oops, I forgot one thing. Um, hatch patterns, when you print to PDF, hatch patterns tend to get darker. So I like to make them gray rather than black. So I'm going to go back to that right there and pencil. Oops, don't need to do that. Um, I'm going to click on this color here and use the dark gray color instead of black there. Okay, hope that didn't mess you up. Okay, click OK. And OK, and now you should see it. And it's a light gray color, and it looks super light on this screen, but when you print to a PDF, uh, it, I don't know, it takes on some darkness. So that's why it looks light here, but it'll look perfect when you print to PDF. All right, that wraps it up, and that is how you get your 45 degree angled hatch patterns thing of beauty.